Hi, it's Adrienne, and how are you doing today? And I'm back with my uh, favorite drugstore palettes of 2022. And yes, there's an awful lot of color pop in here, so we might as well get started. I kind of didn't rank them this year. Um, I went ahead and divided them into uh, nine pan palettes and ten pan palettes and the larger palettes. Um, but and then I did a little bit of um I just didn't really feel like ranking this year. So um, I'll start off with the nine pan uh, ColourPop palettes that I thought were the best. And All Amethyst came out at the beginning of the year and I picked it up later, but um, I really think that it's a wonderful palette. Uh, one of the palettes I picked up at the beginning of the year that I ended up using a lot more than I ever thought I would is the By the Rosé by ColourPop. And this one ended up definitely being a favorite for this year. Um, also, the Apricot Me Not. Um, I just really thought that this uh, just had a lot of really blendable, pretty colors in it. For summertime, it's great. And so those were the color pop, or the color pop nine pans, and these are I think the tin pans, aren't they? Yeah, these are the tin pans. Uh, so Twist of Slate, which came out at the beginning of the year, has been a favorite this year for me. Um, I also really liked the Set in Stone one as well. And so um, this is going to be the cooler one, and then this one is going to be more golden. The clay at cool, for some reason, just I it didn't get along well with it, and I don't know why, but I didn't. And uh, then going ahead and moving on to some of the other ones. Um, this one actually isn't ColourPop, but it's one of my favorites of the year. The Scooby-Doo by Glamlight. Uh, ro ro and um, yeah, uh-oh, uh Shaggy. Uh, this one, an amazing color story and an amazing formula. So definitely one of um, the best of this year. Definitely high up there. Um, another one that I thought that um, I didn't really think about it when I picked it up, but I ended up really liking it. It has some new and different ColourPop formulas in it. Uh, these tie-dye ones and then um, some creamier formulas that were really fun to play around with. And I thought that, um, you know, being a sci-fi fan, it just struck all the right chords. So, yeah, I really liked that one. And I guess we're we're actually doing the cooler palettes now that I really liked. Um, and then Troublemaker as well, that I mean with this Hitchcock kind of thing going on with it. Um, yeah, and it has a really pretty color story and a really cool, cool, cool and cool color story. So I really liked it as well. Um, another one that's... I put it in the cooler pile. I guess you could put it in the warm pile if you wanted to. Um, but it's the Enchanted one by ColourPop. And I just think as far as the rose gold and um, the purples, this one just can be a replacement palette for a lot of the palettes that at this point are getting a little bit older and aren't necessarily on the ColourPop website anymore. So I thought that this was a really good palette as well. Getting into some of the warmer palettes, um, I did like on the list a lot, and um, it has just a really pretty selection of colors, and it has some greens and some oranges and a couple of sparkly shades that I just thought worked really well together, so I really liked that one. And um, It's a Small World, which is one of their newest ones. Uh, came in right under the wire for me, and I think it's a beautiful palette. Um, and I just really liked the color story in this one. And let's see, um, again with the holiday releases, um, yeah, 
I'm a Muppets fan from way back. You know, we grew up watching the not only Sesame Street, but the Muppets show on TV, and it was always a big hit. And so, I mean, if this palette had let me down, I would have been really sad, but it didn't. And it's a really good palette. So, yep, loving this one. Um, let's see. I also had um, a couple other ones. Here at the, um, yeah, they're down there. Never mind. Um, this is also a warmer palette. This is by Beauty Bay. It's called the Berries, and um, I got it this year. Their formula is really fun to play around with. It's very, very intense, and so yes, this palette that I also thought was amazingly good this year. And um, getting into a couple of palettes for green looks. And I ended up with two palettes this year that I thought did amazing green looks. And green looks became so popular. And these are the two palettes. Uh, this one is Earthy by Beauty Bay. And this one is the All Hallows Eve, uh, which is the Hocus Pocus 2 palette. And this one by Beauty Bay. Um, for a nine pan palette, you can go and get a total green look paste or green look based on um, a yellow green or a Kelly green. Um, and so I thought this palette had like amazing shades in it, and you could do a couple of really different looks with it. So I thought it was amazing this year. Um, the All Hallows Eve, I didn't really think of this one as being a green palette. Um, but this green look that you can do uh, with this is your base, then this is your shimmer, this is your outer one. And then you add in these two end colors here and it just turns into a really beautiful green look. And this formula on this palette is wonderful. So again, another uh, favorite. And again, if you wanna do some green looks, either one of these would be amazing. Uh, the surprise palette of the year for me was not a box of chocolates and um, I really didn't uh, think that I would be attracted to um, something that's so neutral because I don't usually go for brand neutrals and um, I'm having a lot of fun playing with this palette. So yeah, this was the surprise of the year for me and definitely out of my comfort zone. And then um, as far as the larger palettes, I think this Harry Potter palette is absolutely gorgeous. And it's back to Hogwarts is what it's called. Um, this is what it looks like. You can do some amazing green looks with it and you can also do some amazing um, sunrise kind of looks with it. And so I thought the formula was great and just amazing. It took me back to reading all of the books and just not being able to put them down because they're such page turners. And so, yep, that one there. Um, again, looking at the larger, these are the makeup palettes. Um, the Rock Candy came out, and I thought that it was amazing as well. And um, had a whole bunch of fun, different kind of ideas uh, for neutrals, and I thought that it was just beautiful. And so I've really enjoyed playing with that one. Uh, the other one that came out, and I think, I'm not sure if it was the, actually, this may have been, I don't think I got this one until the beginning of 2022, but it may have come out in 2021. Um, but this is the Smoke and Roses palette by ColourPop, and again, I think that they did an amazing job at adding some real... Um, fun different ideas into some rosy colors. So yeah, this has definitely been a favorite as well. And um, yeah, I'm putting Aurora Struck in here as well because um, ColourPop has been needing to round out their makeup palettes. And I think with this palette, they sort of did it. So um, they now have a cool or a, a 
Well, Stone Cold Fox is a cool palette as well, but this is a cool with um, a lot of colors in it, where Stone Cold Fox is more neutral. So um, the eye look I'm wearing today is actually from this palette. And yeah, I think it rounded out the makeup palettes really well and just made them all much more cohesive because now um, they have warm, neutral, and cool makeup palettes. And um, yeah, I think they really worked out this year. So um, I don't mind, actually, I kind of look like having, you know, more to choose from as far as colors. So I'm liking that a lot. Um, I think that's my roundup. And I mostly, um, I mostly buy drugstore palettes. So uh, yeah, this is my collection moving forward and I'm actually really happy with it. I think ColourPop came out with some amazing uh, palettes and the, there were just some really beautiful palettes this year. So uh, that's the video and I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Bye.